Following is intended for mature audiences only. Backwoods, you have the floor. So, I want to address something real quick. Listen. <clears throat> All right. When we do, when us content creators make a channel, okay, and we start creating content, there's one thing I want everybody to understand out there. <clears throat> we get comments quite often. I get them. Nation gets them. I know Hutch gets them, you know, yada, yada. That say shit like, you need to do this with your channel. You need to stop doing this. You need to stop spreading conspiracy theories. The one thing that I can tell you, go make your own fucking channel and do your own fucking content because we don't give a shit. We make the content we want to make on our channels. And if you don't like it, Hit the X button, unsubscribe, and don't let the door hit you in the ass. Okay? Plain and simple. When you when if you if you don't like the conspiracy stuff, go away. Don't listen to it. Go make your own channel. Go pet puppy dogs and kitty cats on your channel. Whatever it is. My channel is my channel. The people that watch my channel, they watch my channel. They follow me. The people that don't, they don't. See, it's, it's, it's really disturbing to me that people out there think that they have some kind of fucking special privilege to just go out there and tell a content creator what they like and what they don't like. If you don't like it, hit the X button and get the fuck out. Plain and simple. It's easy. I have never begged for subscribers and I never will. You either like me or you don't. You, I'm, I'm not for everybody. I completely understand that and I'm cool with that. I'm old enough to have lived my life to have learned that no matter what you do, there's going to be people out there that don't like you. Cool. It's awesome. I sleep well at night. It's all good. That's what I wanted to address first thing this morning and uh, hope everybody is uh, having a great day and uh, let's, let's fucking get into it, brother. Joshua, thank you very much. Uh, here's a comment for Thanks. you backwoods. You rock. <laughs> Keep being you. Uh, yeah. And I got you back on this backwoods. Look, he's not just talking about the people at Prepper Nation. He's talking no. about other communities too. It happens oh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I got you back, brother. I actually, made you a list and from now on if y'all get on this man's bad side yeah even you hutch your name might end up on the list hutch especially and uh hutch especially yeah <laughs> welcome all... to the radioactive podcast i am john prepper nation this is backwoods prepper uh how's the week been there mister they're, they're still saying tamping in chat hey look yeah um... after a week yeah, you, you you better put your tampons in, man, because, listen, the world's getting stupid, and I ain't got time for, for stupid trolls, um, so you're going to get, um, you're going to get what you deserve, that's all I'm saying, man, <laughs> you know, it's, well, it's just so simple, brother, it's it just so simple, simple. Go ahead. yeah. It, 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 what, are you done or are you, you're going to explain just, why it's so simple? Well, I, I was going to let you, uh, you know, um, I, I didn't mean to just jump in here and take over and no. shit. You know what I mean? No, you're fine. Tammy says, uh, thank you, Tammy. Don't let them ruffle your feathers, Backwood. Oh, I don't. Just do what I, you feel is right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, hey, I'm, I am who I am, man. I, and I understand I'm not for everybody and I'm, I'm cool with that. It's I cool. just don't want to see you crying or, or anything like I don't want to see any see tears start happen. falling. You ain't gonna see that happen. <laughs> um, let's start with the Baltimore Bridge. 
All right. Uh, you know, the poll is based on the Baltimore Bridge this morning. Well, wait a minute. We keep getting chats and stuff coming in. Ballistic Squeeze, still love the name. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Coffee it. on me, fellers. I appreciate that. Keep I'll, up the good work, brothers. I like uh, that. And, and just to just to let y'all know, if you want to support Backwoods, um, because of the way the super chats and stuff work, he has a PayPal link directly below this video in the video description, and he ain't ashamed. Are you? <laughs> Baltimore Bridge. This thing was carrying hazardous materials for anybody out there that doesn't know. What a coincidence, right, Backwoods? Man, that was an accident, plain and simple. Next subject. Oh, it's just an accident? Yeah, that's it. I don't think anything suspect. Did, didn't y'all hear? Uh, didn't Wait, didn't you hear? The, the Joe Biden administration come out and said it was an accident. The FBI oh. come out and said it was an accident. The mainstream media said it was an accident. I mean, it, it, so it was an accident, right? Well, t tell me about Mitch McConnell's association here. Well, there's a little scuttlebutt going on that. Mm -hmm. So here, here a while back, uh, Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law died mysteriously or, you know, got unalived mis mysteriously by uh, apparently her vehicle backing into a pond or something and she drowned. All this stuff, horrible deal, man. It's a horrible deal. Anybody to to lose their life, man. It's a bad deal. But apparently, there's some scuttlebutt going around that she happened to be the CEO of the country of the company that owns the ship that hit the bridge. What a coincidence! You know, um, just saying. Not a conspiracy theory. We're not trying to, you know. We don't want those haters coming in with that. You know, we're not we're not trying to go down a rabbit hole too far, but facts are facts. This lady was in charge of the same company that just so happened to be carrying hazardous materials that just so happened to take down this bridge. Right. Seriously has slowed down the supply chain. So they're having to redirect. You got all this. Would you call it on top of the water? What did you call it backstage? Oh, the sheen. The uh, there's the sheen. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's kind of like if you if you get oil on water or or some of these chemicals and stuff, it'll yeah. create a sheen across the top like, of the water. Like the dawn ducks on the dawn bottles, where they got them baby ducks and they wash them off. That kind, except this stuff can kill people, right? And it's on top of the water and it's just floating around. So they're redirecting ships all over the place now, and it's slowing everything down. Joe Biden wants to use tax money, federal tax money. To rebuild this thing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> now, I now you know, y'all know I like to be honest about things and I like to try to see things for what they are sometimes. And um, and I also like to do conspiracy theories. So, you know, <laughs> um, I can go real conspiratorial and I might just do that here in a minute. But um, but anyway, no, the. The bridge thing. One thing I do got to point out is is uh, uh, apparently, I, allegedly, I I don't I I don't know anything about harbor and bringing these big ships in and out, but I will say that they they are they are looking to go ahead real quick. I was just. It's a good comment. Thank you, ballistic squeeze. Can't let a good crisis go to waste. So apparently. Go ahead. Uh, J954, thank you. Caveman oh. said Bigfoot was captain in the ship. I wouldn't believe anything Caveman said. Mm. You you need to, you don't test him to see if he's been smoking something. You find out what he's been smoking. Right. Caveman is always smoking something, and he ain't got a problem telling you that. Right on, right on. Go thank ahead, I'm sorry. Thank y'all for Go the ahead. chats, by the way. Um, yeah, so apparently... Um, where was we at? We was talking. I've been smoking. I have too. no idea. I'm Something about there. sheen on the water and and the supply chain being slow and no tugboats. This is also kind so of so the weird. captain. So so apparently in these harbors, right, in these docks and these harbors like this, when these big container ships come in, they have um, special guys that that are from the harbor there, from the docks that get on these ships and guide them in and guide them back out. And once they're out into open sea, they, they get off the boat and go back, you know, to, to drive the next one in. So 
that's that's um yeah the captains was from ukraine but that's what i'm saying there were two u.s pilots on this boat now the apparently they were the ones that were piloting the boat so i i mean that's kind of like someone saying i've got to drive your car into here you know you can't drive it into into this parking lot i have to drive it into there and then they go and crash your car and tear up a bunch of stuff um i i mean let's be realistic you know what i'm saying i think this wasn't an accident i mean i'm just telling you plain and simple you're that, gonna you're gonna catch a lot of hate for that you know that good, right? good good you know because by the you way know what people are going to say they're going to say backwards didn't bring any receipts he don't I, have any receipts in his I, Man, I show receipts and they still say I'm lying. So, you know, you just have to yeah. take my word for it, guys. Um, and if you and if you don't want to take my word for it, Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. Bing it, baby. Bing it. All right, right. So you put out a video this morning. The good news is it's a good video. I watched it. I didn't know you would put it out. It's on AI. Mm -hmm. The bad news is. <laughs> the minute you put this thing out, oh, YouTube snuck in and went, did this right here. And, and now you, uh, oh, yeah. you know, you're not getting paid for the video or whatever, but yeah. Um, uh, it, talk to us about the video. Oh yeah. Well, I, well, it's just, um, it's just, you know, some conspiracy theories, you know what I'm saying? Uh -oh. and, and, and about AI basically, and you know, them using AI to uh, trick people and stuff, you know, um, not that our government would ever do that, you know. No, no, uh, no. No, you know, no. Um, I mean, so you know, it when it when it when it comes down to it, man, um YouTube is, you know, I, I just came off a strike and and so every single damn thing that I post now they they flag it. So, you know, it is what it is, and yes. I had a couple of people like, man, what'd you get your nuts caught up in the in the vice or something? I like to I, I like to do different things with these videos, you know what I'm saying? To break it up, to try to, you know, because wait, wait, you don't want to be like every other channel? What's wrong with no, you? No. 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 Especially people like Hutch, man. Who the hell wants to be like that guy? You know what I mean? Mm. I, mean, I ain't got no part in this. That, that's that's between scared. you and Hutch. Man, stop being scared of Hutch. I'm just saying I ain't got no part in this one way or the other. You know, maybe if you stop we being are, We're already on Hold Hutch's on. list. <laughs> Hold on. I've got this figured out. Okay. You're scared of Hutch and being able to compete with him and, and me too, you know, with the beard, and that's why your beard won't grow. It's scared. Yeah. Maybe he'll quit beard shaming me if I'm nice to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> Somebody right. just got hit with a Kamala Harris ad asking <laughs> for money. If y'all are in the giving mood, let me tell you this right here. Don't give it to Kamala Harris. Click Backwoods PayPal link and send it his way. At least you know where it's going. He's over here chain smoking. You know he's going to be spending it on that. Kamala Harris, you don't know where the money's going, son. Um. So we got to go over a couple of uh questions from last week all okay. right and the first one i believe was actually from hutch home defense without a gun what are some tips and tricks uh you know for for the newbie preppers out there if you don't have a gun or for whatever reason you can't own a gun um you know what are some tips and tricks that you got there up your sleeve well, I, you know, um, but, well, first off, I got to know how far I can go with this because I have some really devious um, tricks to do. And, well, just make sure it's not a conspiracy theory, man. Well, uh, um, we got enough haters fishing, already. Fishing, fishing line, fishing line, and treble hooks, man, are are horrible that hang from trees, man, around your house at night time man because that's usually when people are going to try to sneak in boy that's that's a bad deal that's a really bad deal um you know wall spray bear spray um any of them kind of things are really good uh you know uh two before with some nails in it right up under your window sill great way to um discourage people when they step in 
You know what I mean? It, it, it takes a, it, you know, when, when you step in and you step on a board full of nails and it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it kind of, you know what I mean? It, it, it kind of distracts them from what they're actually supposed to be doing in your house. Ground floor, windows, rose bushes. That's all I'm saying. They're, they're not that expensive and they do the, they do the job. Bean Scottish Fitness. Thank you. He said the sister-in-law was not the CEO of the shipping company. Back oh, before. okay. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm just, you know, like I said, that's, it's going it, like, a, that's why I called it scuttlebutt. I, I don't know. You know, it's, it, it, it was, it's going around. I've seen it on more than just one place is what I'm getting at. I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen it on X. Um, so a uh, dog, yeah, big dog. Dogs are very, very good protection. And knives, dude, I'm going to tell you right now, people hate getting cut by knives. <laughs> That's a freaking knife, man. This Arkansas toothpick. <laughs> Just so you know, see? <laughs> oh, I see. I see it's taller than you are. Uh, Nail gun. J9 There's a one. Full maker. Sorry. It's Ill, uh, J954. It's illegal to booby trap your own dwelling. Why? I don't know. I didn't know that it was. I would just deny it. I would say, you know, no, nah, <laughs> I don't do this to booby trap. You know, I'm trying to catch birds or something. Deny, well, deny, deny, it, deny you, never admit it. You know what? I, I'm going to say this. I've been saying this for a long time. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. You know, Fuck them and their stupid rules and their and their laws and their and their and their bullshit because cops are nothing but chalk line draw, drawers. That's it. That's it. They are chalk line drawers and and report takers. That's what they do. They've already took it all the way to the Supreme Court, I believe it was, to to make sure that they keep their qualified immunity and all that. They don't have to save your life. You know, and so you you got to understand that when it comes to your life, you are responsible for your protection. You should be the one who decides how you protect yourself. The law should be when you protect yourself, whatever happens, happens. It is all legal to protect yourself. That's what the law should be. In some states, it is. Like my plus, state. Plus, a lot of laws just are stupid, man. Have you heard about this? Uh, what is it? The rain tax up in Canada. Man. I think it's Toronto. They're going to, they, they want, they're pushing a the tax for those that don't know. Uh, it has to do with rainwater disposal or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're saying, oh, hey, the city's out of money. So they're going to tax people or they want to based on how much rain falls in their particular area. Well, Prepper Truck, and I, I, I agree with you. Well, real quick, I, I just want to say I agree with you on that. Um, but I still, as long as I'm breathing, I've got a fighting chance, regardless if it's against the court systems or whatever it may be. So that's the way I look at it is if I go to jail for the rest of my life, then I guess so. You know, there's always appeals and stuff like that, whatever. But the the main thing is, is you know that that initial protection. If if you if if you're not willing to use whatever means necessary to protect yourself from from possible unaliving, then you know that's on you. That's all I can say. I don't you know I don't care about the laws, but the rain tax. <laughs> I got a I got a good one for them. Stop giving all the damn money away to the the stupid illegals and, and maybe you'll have some damn money and to all these DEI programs and shit, you know, just saying. You're not going to quit giving the money away, man. They're corrupt. I mean, what happens if they go to Arkansas and, you know, I know y'all got a good governor right now, but eventually five years from now, if they have a rainwater tax, That's not how's that going to look? Well, that's probably what the people in Toronto thought too. You know what I mean? Well, it's the most ridiculous tax I've ever heard. Guns a long time ago, so um, I I don't, you know. And, and when it really comes down to it, I I mean, I'm 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 about America. 
the USA and you know Toronto there that's their own their their own people all I can tell them is you voted for that shit so you know good luck with it vote them out you know that's all I can tell you um get get stupid like the rest of the country and or like the rest of the the world and you know get get buck wild up on them man and and uh start posting up at at these uh parliaments and all this stuff like like some of these farmers and stuff are doing uh days yeah i did see where ron DeSantis uh implemented the new anti-squatters law in florida but here's here's my whole thing and then you tell me what you think backwoods it, it's cool that he did it but at the same time we shouldn't need a politician telling us this we shouldn't need a law saying people can't break into your house and squat anymore. You know what I mean? If they do this, like last week you were telling me we got off panel. Uh, you were telling me y'all were going out to a food truck to eat or something. And my first thought is, you know, if you and and your wife got back home and you had squatters at home, are you really going to go to the governor or to the police and say, hey, can you please help me? You can go through the legal system at that point, or are you just going to grab them by the shirt and the trousers? And throw them the freak outside. Well, if you're in my home and and you weren't invited, um, right. I call them chalk line drawers and report takers <laughs> afterwards after I deal with the situation. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. If if you're in my house, deal leave. with it in that way. Yeah, and, and not go through the court system and not pray that this governor or this mayor passes laws. You, we wouldn't need them in the first place. You know what I mean? Did you miss some two super chats? No, I got them pulled up here. Okay. Uh, Josh B., thank you very much. But that's, hey, that's that's very good, Backwoods. You're learning, man. Uh, law enforcement of today are no different than the Nazis during World War II. Depending on who's in charge, they're going to do what they're told to do. Yep. Most of them. Order followers. You're always going to have some law enforcement that are Americans first. Um, the good ones are out there, too. I, I'm not a cop hater or anything like that. But. A lot of them are just going to fall into line and do what they're told to do. Uh, we see it time and again. Ballistic squeeze. Thank you. Here in Oregon, private well water is considered public. I didn't know that. Now we can't even have a garden without a permit. God dang, man. Oh, man. Man, I, you know. I would still, I would still try and garden without a permit. I, I got to be honest with you. Who's gonna, who's gonna snitch on you? The neighbors, you know what well, I mean? Yeah, they did it. They did it during COVID. What, what makes you think they wouldn't do it on, over gardens? Uh, they wouldn't want to live around me if they snitched on me for having a garden. I would be a nightmare from that well, point forward. See, here's the, here. All right, so. A long while back, when I when when I was on this YouTube thing, um, when I first started out and stuff like that, I used to it's, tell. It's people, called the internet. Yeah, I used to tell people, you know, um, man, just move, and they'd be like, "Man, I'm gonna stay here and try to fight," you know, and I, I love where I live and all that, and and I and and I understood that back then, you know, I was like, "Yeah, I, I can see that," you know, I, I hate to lose any state, you know what I mean. Um, to you know what I'm saying, lose the freedom in any state in the United States. But it's gotten to the point today to where, man, I, I, I'm telling you, if I was like in Oregon, I'd be gone. I'd move. I'd, I'd move to a better state, you know. And, and the thing that people got to understand is that the more, the more, you know, balkanization is happening. And I think it's going to happen a lot more. And we need, instead of having one or two people fighting in Oregon, I would rather see them backing up what we have already done here in middle America, you know, and, and right. free America, you know, in the, in the central time zone, the only time zone that matters, you know. Um, just made mine. Oh, I, it took me a second. Yeah, he's yeah. saying he just made his bigger. Yep. That's the thing. I agree with you, man. I wouldn't want to be there. I would want to move. But at the same time, they ain't but 50 states, man. Eventually, you're going to run out of places to go. 
like you're saying, you're going to be in middle America, but at some point people got to make a stand, you know, whether it's middle America or their own state or what. Well, and you that's, know, yeah. Well, and that's the point, man, is, is we, these people, man, these tyrannical, um, power hungry people that get up in, in these, um, places like, you know, um, mayors and governors and stuff like this, man, they're, you know, they, you get all these people, all these sheeple out there that are concentrated in these big areas and they, they're going to stay in power, man. I mean, it's just what it is. And, you know, that's the one thing the left is good at is bringing numbers, you know, um, yeah. con conservatives and, you know, patriots and, you know, we're not good at bringing numbers, man. You know, hell, we can't help um, our patriots and conservatives get mad at us because we do a conspiracy theory and try to tell us what hey, we shouldn't be doing this. They can't even agree with us. We let, can't me, let me speak on that for a minute, because uh, I was thinking about this earlier this week. You're exactly right. The left, as dumb as most of them are, right? They have this group think. And it's a big advantage for the left because, you know, if they if they idolize Taylor Swift, for example, and Taylor Swift says to do this, they question nothing. They show up in mass numbers. We need to save the planet. We need to protest. Greta Thunberg, boom, they're showing up in numbers. Whereas conservatives, I think we question everything. Like it's in our DNA. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, we don't trust the government. I think that's that's fair to say. And because we question everything, you always have people say, no, that's a sob. No, this really isn't happening. No, we, we need to do this. Everybody's lying in the sand is all over the place. And we can't draw numbers the way the left does, man. You know, it's, it's really funny because, you know, let's, let's just say the conspiracy theorist for a minute, you know, and, and these people, who are so quick to run up there and go, y'all quit doing um, conspiracy theories. Well, there's a whole group of conspiracy theorists out there that want the same exact fucking things that we want for the government to stop their bullshit for freedom. They want the same thing. They just go about it a different way. What difference does it make? You know, here's, I'm going to use this analogy real quick. I'm going to y'all listen, y'all listen up to this. You take a football team, a football team has an offense and a defense, correct? A football team has wide receivers. They have guards. They have center. They have quarterbacks. They have running backs. They have tight ends, <laughs> multiple positions that each one of them do completely different things. You got a playbook, multiple plays. The whole goal is to put all these plays together to get to the goal of a touchdown and to ultimately right. win the game. This is what we need to do as a group that's against the leftist that's against the tyrannical government. We need to learn that we're like on a football team. We each have positions. We each have different plays, but we all strive for the exact same thing. And you righteous fuckers out there that sit there and go, oh, I don't do conspiracy theories. Oh, you don't do this. Oh, you do yours the way you want to do. You do this. You should do it this way. How about focusing on getting some yardage and making a touchdown and ultimately winning the game? How about put that, that bullshit that you're putting out and turn it towards the left? That's like taking that fucking football team and they're all over there fighting each other on the field and not going nowhere. We're going backwards. We're getting penalties and shit for unsportsmanlike conduct. We're always on defense, brother. That's the problem. We're always on defense. We shit. Conservative America 
does nothing but react to what the left does. When you, when you think about it, all right, they're always chipping away at things, at rights, at the Second Amendment, etc. When is the last time conservatives got together? Yeah, I'm saying, you know, in Congress and actually pushed the other way and went on offense. We have a majority in the House right now, and they can't agree on anything. The only thing that they've been able to accomplish is replace the House Speaker over and over and over. They're not accomplishing anything. When the left is in there, they accomplish a lot, man. They they be taking rights wholesale. So yeah, well, uh, I mean that's that's the whole thing, man. Is it's it's just it's just stupidity to me. You know what I'm saying? It's stupidity. Agreed, Yankee. Get off the damn bench. You know, get off the damn bench. Stop pointing fingers and going, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. How about just get out there and focus on, on your smarts and intelligence and focus that towards the left instead of trying to um, think you're some kind of fucking um, warlord god or something over there to to be, you know, telling everybody what to do. Not everybody can be the damn captain, okay? Here's the problem from where I'm sitting. The left, all right, again, hive mind for the most part, group think, but they'll follow, they'll follow a leader in the battle. We're riding with Biden. Let's go. Right? They might be a terrible football team when you get down to it, but they're a football team. On this side of things, everybody's an armchair quarterback. Everybody knows exactly what to do, but nobody's doing anything really. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, man, it's 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 just um, it, it, I I don't know, man. It just it it just puzzles me, man. Um, you know, the same people that that go and try to tell me to stop doing conspiracy theories or or don't do this or don't do that. That's bothered you, had not it? It, it does bother me because it. number one is um, it's. It's my it, it it's my channel, you know. It, it it's my channel. If you don't like well, it, that's don't what watch. you thought anyway. That's what you thought, but it turns out <laughs> but it's, it's kind of like this. The same people that are doing that, that are telling you shit like this, will turn around and talk about a mag. We got to have a mag. Well, you got to understand yeah. something in a mag or a group or a you know a community after shit hits the fan is that you're going to have multiple different people on there. And people are going to be conspiratorial. People are going to be, you know, nurses. People are going to be um, maybe a little more emotional than somebody else. You know, so you're going to have to put all this together. And you're going to have to learn how to work together because at that point, it's survival. And we suck at it right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of these people that come out there, you know what they, you, they're the same ones talking about a mag and how a mag should run and we should get mags together and we should do this and community afterwards. And then what? You can't even agree right now on YouTube videos, man. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Get your head out of your ass and start thinking for yourself and turn all that hatred and anger and all that BS towards who's doing the shit to us to begin with. If I want to talk about it in a conspiratorial way, guess what? That's a that's a Hail Mary pass. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Just like a running play. You know, maybe you go at it a different way and you say, you know, you, you don't cuss much, you know, nation. You you know, you 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 keep you, you sometimes know, you I do when, when I'm in traffic. Right. I ain't gonna lie. That's to like you. a running play. You know what I'm saying? We 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 sometimes you know do things differently but as long as we are striving for the same goal because we need to be together we suck at that man we suck at that and the left is kicking our ass in this listen man and y'all tell me in chat if you agree with this back would you tell me there's strength in numbers especially when there's a collapse there's strength in numbers right Yes. You want you want a small group, you want a medium sized group, but the problem is the bigger the group gets, the more the people inside this group are going to disagree. Not everybody is going to agree on the path forward. Not everybody's going to agree uh, you know, on the 
religion or the mm -hmm. ideology, none of this. People are going to disagree. <laughs> and right now in our society, it's somewhat, you know, it's wobbly, but there's still a society to be had. And people can't, to your point, man, people can't stand when you say something on YouTube that they disagree with. They don't know how to handle this. How right. are they going to be able to do it when we collapse? Right. And, you know, nut riders out there, man, you know, nut riders has got to go, man. Yeah. ENC Gunny. We'll get to that in just a second. Right Squatters on. in my oh. house. I don't call 911. I call 811. Call before you dig. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, he makes a really, really good point, man, because, you know, <laughs> um, when you're when you're doing disposal and removal, you know, um, you, you have to understand that when you're digging out there, you may, you know, man, you may hit your interwebs wire, you know what I'm saying? Or, or maybe knock out a gas line or two, you know, and I mean, man, who wants to do without our amenities? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ben in, I don't know. He's getting ready to tell us. I don't know what you walked into. Nut riders, nut riders. Are, nut riders are people that follow a content creator and get so upset if somebody says something bad about them that they start coming over and threatening you and, and, um, you know, you want me to put them on the list backwards, put them nut on riders. the list, nut riders. Um, you know, the list, the, the they're, right. the, you know, they get mad, they come over and they, they try to report your channel and doing all this stuff. But Hey, you know, Nine times out of ten, I'd be I'd be willing to bet ninety nine percent of the time, man, these people ain't even met the guy that they're following. They ain't even met the person. All they know is what they see on the screen, and they go over there and they start. They get upset because you say something bad about them. And they're like, oh, I'm I'm gonna have your channel taken down, and I'm put their hands on their hips, you know, and getting that little Karen pose, you know, and they're all like, I'm taking your channel down, and I'm I'm gonna report the Karen you. pose. Yeah. How many times have you run into this situation, man? Man, all the time. I had I had some comments just the other day. Reported. Reported. Two or three videos, man. And and it was a it was a nut rider of gray man prepping. Oh. You throwing names out and everything. I, uh, yeah, fuck gray man, man. I, I'm just telling you, I, I I I don't like him. I don't I don't like the dude. I think he's a shill. I don't like him. Listen, folks in chat, if you're joining for the first time, I will say one thing about Backwoods. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. And you well, either I, love him for this reason or you hate him for this reason, but he is who he is. He does not sugarcoat anything. What Backwoods says, that's Backwoods. All right? So don't be coming at me. Don't don't be sending nasty messages my way. He speaks for himself. Go ahead. Send them my Sorry. way. Send the nasty messages my way. Gone fishing that's that's gone f-i-s-h-i-n fishing gone fishing dot bm at gmail.com send the nasty shit my way see 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 what you get I, I was wondering what you were talking about for a second I, that's his email y'all that's my email i was like send what? it my way i don't give a damn so you know you are, but, you're unapologetic man you, you got your viewpoints and that's it, man. Everybody's entitled to them. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I, I mean, you know, in, we can be anybody we want to be on this panel, on, on this screen right here. And nut riding. Be somebody with a longer beard. Well, new, nut, riding is, nut riding is stupid. What, do what? I want to be somebody with a longer beard if we can be anybody we want I to be. I told you, man, you got to hit puberty first. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, go ahead and finish up and we'll move on, man, uh, with the nut riders. Cause well, I, I'm just, a hard time lately. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, don't, don't be a nut rider. It's stupid. You know, you ain't nine times out of 10. You're not even met the fucking guy. You've not even met the person. All you see is what you see on the screen. You know, go watch my other video I put out this morning. Um, it talks about AI and and trickery you know man they could they could easily they can easily trick you you know i can stand here and be anybody i want to be i could go start a whole nother channel and be some completely different guy if i want to be that's what that's what you nut riders need to understand 
you, you if you've never met the guy if you've never went and spent time with them and 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 ate dinner at their house and things like that you have no idea who that person really is period stop stop being a nut rider for them that's all i got on that <laughs> all right moving along there was another question that came in last week uh and she was asking about how do you bug out when you have little ones? I think she's talking about kids with you. How do you bug out during a situation like that? With with kids? Yeah, smaller kids. I, I mean, if, if you've got small children, you better have a place to go, plain and simple. Yeah. And and you need to figure this out now, not 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 next week, um, not not a month from from now. I think it was uh, Kaz. Italian hillbilly. I, I I think he uh, reposted a, a guy's grunt proof. I believe it was. It maybe it was grunt proof. Man, I watched. I, I try to watch so many people's stuff, man. And and you know, um, <clears throat> and it, it was talking about you know, have you really been been you know going out and and doing your practicing your preps? You know, have you really? You know, and and. I, I didn't I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but you know basically the whole concept is is that you need to be practicing what you're do, what you're what you're going to do. You don't want to be finding yourself in shift and then getting everything ready. Everything you know you're you're trying to you know what I'm saying um, figure out your plan after after a disaster. You don't want to you don't want to do that. You want to know now how that works how how you know this heater works you know i i got a um i bought a heater for my deer stand you know and one of the first things i did was opened it up pulled it out and it's it uses them sterno cans so you can you can make different kinds of fuel you know on your own for them liquid fuel and you know, I probably wouldn't do gas in there, but you know, like alcohol and things like that. You can you can make your own liquid fuel for it, but it has a one of them heat fans on it. So you put these right. sterno cans in the bottom and it heats up, it gets that fan to blowing and it blows heat into your area. You know, well, I, I mean, you when you get something new, pull it out, practice with it, learn how to use it, make sure you know how to use it now. As far as it goes for bugging out. <clears throat> with children, you need to have a place to go. Bugging out with small children to the woods is a super, super horrible, bad idea. Yeah, I would not in a thousand have, years do that. No, have Fam a, a family yeah. member who lives a few hours away or yeah. hotels that you've already identified that are a few hours away. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's if the threat is coming from the east, you're going west, that that type of deal. Do not take small kids out into the woods to bug out. I mean, that is a last resort. You right. know what I mean? Um, Toolmaker, too many prepper channels pushing products and not content. Here's my thing, Toolmaker. I don't have a problem with capitalism. I don't have a problem right. with people making money and stuff like this on YouTube. And, and again, it's their channel. He's Backwoods is... Uh, sitting here saying he don't want people telling him what to do on his own channel. The only thing I have an issue with is creators who scare people on purpose right. for the sole reason of selling them something on the back end to earn commission. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The grid's going to go down in three days. You better be ready. And they scare people for 15 minutes and then they spin it into here's the generator. Here's the, here's the fix to all of your problems. Here's an affiliate code. That to me is kind of sleazy, but brother, you tell me. Well, yeah, no, I mean that's 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 the whole thing. If they, if they're if they're using fear to sell products, I, I don't like that. That's that's ridiculous. The, um, stop, you know, stop fear porning people. Um, just tell you know, tell the truth. You know, um, hey guys, you know, I I got this product. Um, I got this product from Backwoods Garage, and um, you know, if y'all want to get some of these products at Backwoods Garage, you know, go over there and check them out. You know, yes, I do make a little money off of each sale. You can use my promo code. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know, uh, it's a good knife. Um, do a little video showing you using the thing. Yada yada. 
And then, and, and that's and, the thing. That's there it. are some good products out there. Yes. There absolutely. are some good things out there. Exactly. But, and, uh, um, go ahead, man. Well, no, I you go ahead, bro. I, I'm just, I was just saying that there are good products out there. There's good survival food out there, mm -hmm. but don't pitch to me for 15 minutes that me and my family are going to starve to death just for the sole reason of trying to sell me survival food because you're hooked up with some company. You know, that's, that's sleazy. You know what I'm saying? If like you're saying backwards, if you buy a good knife or you buy a good scope or something and you get on your channel and you say, here, you know, I got this scope. It's a legit scope. Okay. There's right. nothing wrong with that at all, man. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I, I am not against capitalism by any means, man. If you can make money, make money, man. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. Um, What's wrong? Oh, well, into look like you had one of them Miss McConnell moments. You just well, no, I'm, I'm, right. I'm looking. Uh, copy first says I like gray man. Yeah, that's cool. I, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not telling people don't. You'll never catch me telling you don't go watch him. Don't do this. Don't. You Buy know, whatever you if want. You, if you if you follow that guy, you can't follow me. I I don't do that. I don't play that game. You can you can go over and and be um um gray man's best friend and and come over here and and, and I'm cool with that. I I, I mean yep. you know everybody has the freedom to do what you want to do. Um, <laughs> somebody buy whatever you want. Yeah, I got. I'll grab it here in a second. Buy whatever you want, folks. Just don't do it because you're afraid. You know what I'm saying? Do it because you want this product. Do it because um, you trust the creator. That's fine. But don't do it out of a place of fear, man, because so much money, I think, gets lost that way. The, I've well, done it. I've, I've guilty, I'm guilty of it. I've bought stuff before because I've seen another creator talk it up, and then I've been sitting here looking at it like, I'm never going to use this. What I buy this for? The big sleaze. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, just remember, guys, it's only a conspiracy until it becomes true. Ain't, Absolutely. Yeah, no kidding on that. I want to address, too, uh, J9 says um, Bear Independent is legit. And I, I agree 100%, man. Um, Bear is, is legit. Um, the products that Bear sells, they, they, they put them together themselves, man. They, you know, they put a lot of effort into them, man. He sells really good IFAX and, and things like that um bear um does real good things with with um like um battered women homeless you know you charity, know like yeah. charity does great work with that you know um i got nothing bad to say about bear but um you know some 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 of the creators i i just don't like i mean it's just, and and i'm sure they don't like me well, and it's cool you know yeah, I mean? that's the thing we're human okay. we're like everybody else I got people that I enjoy watching a lot. And I've got people I'm like, eh, you know, Bear Independent, I've never heard a bad, not one bad thing about his medical kids. I've right. heard nothing but good things. Exactly. But what, but what I will say is some people can't afford the entry price for those. And they, you know, some people can only afford a $30 medical kit from Walmart. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are they as good as Bears? No, of course not, man. Of course not. But that's, you know, some people can only afford that. You know right. what I mean? So right. don't think that you have to get a second mortgage and go out and buy a bunch of stuff in order to survive. You can survive with cheap stuff. Though I will say bear stuff is is legit. Oh, it's legit. No doubt. Um, so, you know, that that's uh, all that. But um, what's the next topic, man? What are you going to talk about? Um, Amelia was in chat earlier. Mm -hmm. Talking about death by a thousand cuts. Yes. And and I'd written that down. Yes. Uh, let's get in on that. Death by a thousand cuts here in the United States. So everybody knows. I mean, we, we can talk about, you know, the wokeness and the military and all this stuff. And, 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 you know, a lot of things that I don't like and we don't like and we, we see that's wrong. All that. That's great. For militaries across the world to just flat out go toe to toe with the United States. We are highly superior. We, we have a lot of advanced technology that I can guarantee you a lot of us don't even know exist. And <clears throat> my 
personal thought is here's the conspiracy theory okay you take people that want to do bad things to america the best way to to do things to america is to do it by death by a thousand cuts so the bridge collapse say it's an accident those that believe it's an accident it's your right to believe it's an accident i don't i i mean that's just the way it is i believe it it was is intentional and you got to understand that 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 port <clears throat> was very important to you know there's a lot of things and supply so chain I, I, it's good yeah big supply chain so i was talking to someone yesterday and excuse me <clears throat> i was talking to someone yesterday and we were talking about this and they was like yeah but i mean if you think this was intentional what would be um they normally like to take out lots of people at once when when these terrorists do terrorist things i agree with that but like what i told him is well first off you know you take the bridge down that was um, a hazardous material bridge so all the hazardous materials went across that bridge mm -hmm. because they have tunnels there that they don't want the hazardous materials in the tunnels they don't want you know so now they're saying that basically you can get um a, a special permit and to go through the tunnels with these hazardous materials certain ones i'm sure they're going to um certain ones i'm sure are going to go around you know um they they say there's some i don't know anything about that area up there but they they say they're there's some highway they're going to have to go around, which is going to. Um, uh, did you hear that? Y'all didn't hear that? No. Uh, Caveman James got you shook she, up or something, man. No, dude. Something just went doom, 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 and shook the ground and shook my damn. No, I didn't hear it. Not, not in my headphones anyway. Yeah, apparently some of the people. Blue? Yeah, Did, yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. Hang on, yeah. give me a second. I guess everybody heard it but me, man. I don't know. I need to get my hearing check. <laughs> it's the ATF backwoods run. I hope he took that knife with him, y'all, or something. Yeah, everybody in chat is saying they heard that backwoods. God dang fighter plane, man. Sonic boom. Was it really? Yep. I, I hear him now. I said I could see him over there. We've got an air base not too far from us. That was a sonic boom. Wow, man, that was a trip. <laughs> that scared the <laughs> hell out of me, man. I thought we was blowing up, man. I didn't hear it, but everybody in chat's like, I heard it. What was that? I heard it. Everybody else yeah. heard it, man. Shit. It, it, it's a it's a sonic boom. We have them here once in a while, but I can y'all hear that? It's a fighter no. jet going over right now. No, Florida man says a, a squatter <laughs> trying to get in. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it, that, that shook, that shook my table and everything. I could feel it through my chair and all that. That's what tripped me out. I was like, Whoa, wow. it's a fighter jet though. False alarm. Fake news, fake news. <laughs> yeah. Don't be passing no conspiracy theories over here backwards. Come right? on, man. Oh my um, God. It's world war three. They're bombing shit, man. <laughs> Jesus. Right. That ain't funny. It might be before long. Um, so the supply chain, I mean, it, it's death, death by a thousand cuts, man. They've they've infiltrated communists, I'm saying. I don't want to be like straw man and they, uh, the education system. Mm -hmm. They're all up in the education system. Oh, from, yeah, from elementary school all the way up through colleges, man. Yep. Um, they, they've 
Does anybody in chat seriously think that there are no members of Congress that aren't bought and paid for by enemies of the United States? Man, chat's got me laughing, man. I'm sorry. You have to repeat that, bro. I, I was I was laughing at the chat. I was asking uh I was asking chat if they honestly believe everybody in Congress is on the level and nobody's bought and paid for by enemies of the United States. Man, I I don't I don't uh think that, you know, I don't think there is much honest in any of them up there. I think there's a few of them up there that that really want good things that that still you know what I'm saying that still believe the way we do. They still want to do things right, but when you when you when you really get to digging deep even into them people, you find where they've gotten, you know, um um, money from here and donations from there, you know. Um, so, you know, when it comes down to it, they're all mouth. The the ones just basically there's not enough power there for the for the good ones, and it's they're just mouthpieces, man. You know, yeah, making us. Hey, I think there's enough bought off. You know, all they need is a majority, man. I think they've bought off the majority, and you know what can you do at that point? They're strategically buying land, mm -hmm. not not just farmland, but they're buying land that's strategic to military bases and major things throughout the country. Communists are. Um, they're constantly chipping away at the Second Amendment, again, using our elected officials to do this. They're overrunning the borders mm -hmm. and they're using terms like we were talking earlier, Gretchen Whitmer's office now. She's calling them newcomers and refugees. She will not call these people illegals. I, I mean, you know, look, word salad is is went way beyond stupidity these days, you know, and, and that's that's the whole problem, man, that, you know, changing a word for something, man, it, you know, to make you feel better, it still doesn't take away the fact of what they really are. You know that's the whole problem with things, man. Is is they don't they don't understand this, man. It it, it doesn't matter. You can call them uh, newcomers or whatever it is you want to call them. They're still here illegally according to our law. Right. You know um, that's the point. Is they are here illegally. In fact, we still have a bill um, in the United States right now. A law in in the United States right now, rather that. Um, says that if if any illegals are, uh, vote get caught voting there um, it's an automatic deportation we still have a lot we have a lot of laws on the book these these people are are illegal they're, according they're to the using law. loopholes and things they're saying yeah. we're here you know on special status and all this stuff seeking asylum this you know it is a loophole that needs to be fixed but um the reason they use these terms, it, Gretchen Whitmer, the White House, all this, they don't actually believe it. But by using these terms and using the repetition over and over, Americans start to use these terms. And they're pulling Americans away from using the term illegal alien. Yep. Now they put them over here where they're calling them newcomers and refugees. And Americans eventually will use that, those terms so many times that they start believing it. And then they question nothing unless Taylor Swift tells them to. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's the whole point, man. You know, um, which, you know, again, um, I'll say it again that, you know, people like that follow like Taylor Swift, them are nut riders, man. And, and literally, you know, yeah. Taylor Swift's a dude. Didn't you know that? Well, <laughs> Hey, come on, man. Don't start that. You did that last week with uh, the former first lady, and some people got upset over that. They were like, "Don't talk, to, don't what? talk about her like that." What, Michael? Yeah, that's a conspiracy theory. Remember, you don't remember that they were giving you a hard time. I, uh, I mean, you, I kind of, I know you remember. You cried <laughs> backstage afterwards. I, I kind of remember it, but you know, that's that just goes to show trolls. I really don't care. Um, you know, whatever. Um, um you know, I gotta mention this. This is the last thing dude, I got. Hold on, real quick, man. Um, Go can ahead, you, man. 
can you imagine if, if she really is a dude and Travis Kelsey over there hugging up on her and kissing her and shit? That's nasty, man. I would think gross. eventually he would figure it out. Like there, there's going to come a point in time Maybe where he he's going to realize. I mean, he know. is he is a receiver, tied in receiver. You know, he he likes to receive the ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like you know what I'm saying. You get on you get on Amazon, you order a stove. Eventually, when you pull the box apart and there's a coffee table in there, you got questions. You're like, I can't I can't cook eggs on this, son. Huh? What's going on here? This this ain't gonna work out. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is the last thing I got, man. I'm glad you're in a laughing mood because tonight there's a Democratic fundraising dinner taking place. Um, it's twenty five thousand dollars a ticket. Did mm-hmm. You see that? You yep. got a plate of food. Probably gonna be no meat involved, if I had to guess. But you get to take a picture with Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton all together at one time. Worth $25,000 backwards? Man. Mm. They couldn't pay me $25,000 to attend. Oh, I'd attend. I just would have some choice words. Now, that might, you know, actually... Hmm. Thinking about it, that would be pretty fun. I would take the twenty five grand, yeah, and, and go there and and uh, you know. What would you tell these three? It, as you're standing there taking a picture with Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton, I, I what wouldn't would you, be taking. What no, would you say? They, I, I wouldn't be taking no pictures with these jokers. Ain't no way. Um, but I would, I would tell them about how they're all traitors. They're treasonous. And I hope they end up in Gitmo. They wouldn't let they wouldn't let you stay in party Clinton, very long. I don't. Think. I tell I tell Bill Clinton I'll be like, man, you know you've been killing people, man. You know that, bro. Come on, just just go and admit it, man. You 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 know you you would be, you know. I I mean I would I I tell him I, I I'd be like you know good and well, brother. You you freaking y'all man. All them people ain't die mysteriously like that. Milton Root said uh, you would let Joe Biden sniff that beard. No. No. That that that's man. You know that, you would for twenty five thousand dollars, man. You know, that's that's um man, that's that's disgusting, <laughs> man. That is disgusting. And I, I can't believe that any of these people that that allow him to sniff their daughter like that, man, them, them people, man, they're, mm, boy. And they don't say anything, I guess, because he's the president. I, my man, I'm Air telling quotes. you, some old man goes to putting his nose up next to my daughter's hair like that, sniffing on her and shit, dude, I'm, I'm punching his ass, man. I, I don't care who it is. I don't, I don't care who it is, you know. Y'all about to get backwoods wired up. Hell, I'm always wired up, man. <laughs> it might be. I'm just throwing this out there, backwoods. It might be the energy drinks that you're crushing over there on top of all that nicotine right. you're smoking, man. Hey, man. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta get giddy, man, you know, and get out there. I got, I got a lot of work to do in my yard and, and in my garden and all that. We finally got some pretty days here coming up the next couple of days. So I'm going to get my yard good and caught up. We, we started on it yesterday, got all the hedge bushes trimmed and, and, you know, front yard cut and cleaned up and, and all that and got half the backyard done, you know, so I hadn't started on my working on my gardens yet because we keep like last night when I got up this yeah. morning, it was, uh, it was 28 degrees and frost everywhere. So you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I guess that's it. What are we talking about next week, man? You got anything specific in mind? You're going to show us a picture with the three presidents and former presidents. Or- no, that, that won't be happening. I might, uh, but you know, I do know how to edit really well. And I could put you in some pretty embarrassing pictures with Joe Biden and with 
Can you fill my I, beard out? Use some AI or something? Man, not even AI can fix that. It's unfixable, isn't it? Yeah. I might as well shave it off and go with the Don Johnson look. That's a no, mind advice reference for y'all youngins out there. No, please keep what you got at least. It hides some of it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right, you got any last words, Backwoods, that don't involve my beard? Real talk, y'all. The world is getting crazy. We all know it. We see the crime ramping up like crazy, man. There's people out there. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this every time I get a chance. There's people out there that are doing bad things to people. They're, they're, the criminals are running rampant. Keep your head on a swivel, guys. You know, Make sure that you're paying attention. Keep your head out of your phone when you're out in public. As far as it goes for April the 8th, I have no idea what's going to happen. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on that, that all these bad things are going to happen. And, and, you know, the, the freaking, um, you know, earthquakes and, and all this, them are things that we can't control. Okay. We can only prepare for them. That's it. It's all we can do. The one thing, again, I will say about April the 8th, is if you are going to go out in public, make sure that you are paying attention because there's going to be lots of places where there's big crowds of people and terrorists that do terrorist shit love to see big crowds of people. So just pay attention to what you're doing. Go out, look at the, look, you know, enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself. Don't be scared. Be prepared. That's 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 as simple as I can put it. Don't be scared. Be prepared. It's I mean it's gonna be gonna be huge crowds of people, but they're they're all gonna be looking up in the sky. Yeah. And the real threats down here. Yep. And and, the, and the real you. threat. And so, you know, just just make sure you, you know, you're you know, and, and if you're in them uh zones where you know it's going across. Don't wait until the seventh to go and stock up with, with, with your extra staples and, you know, top your gas tank off all that stuff. Go ahead and do that stuff at least a week in advance, because you got to understand that some of these people are going to come here and what they're going to do is, you know, um, they're going to like get hotel rooms, stuff like that. So, when you fill up all the hotels and all the stuff in your area, you got to understand that these people are going to be using goods and services that it, that you normally use in your own town. So get that all stocked up ahead of time, at least a week in advance. Get all that taken care of. That way, that that part is off your mind. You're caught up. You're ready to go. Do it early. Just like I talked about earlier with bugging out and, and all that stuff. <clears throat> know what you're going to do now. <clears throat> Don't wait until it happens. And when you it prepare your said, mind properly, things will fall into place. It will said. I was just going to add uh, quickly. You can find Backwoods Prepping right here on YouTube. Uh, yeah, he might get flagged every other day. But he's on there. He's putting out content. <laughs> go check him out and, and support him if you choose to do that and uh any shopping that you do i would say this any shopping you do folks use cash uh because you're not going to be able to do that much longer i think cash is on its way out brother i really do um we can we can uh, next week we'll yeah know, we'll, we'll know if we're not dead you know what i mean we we well, should why well, would hope well, you know, you, we may wake up dead. You you never know. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a possibility. But um, that's one thing we can talk about is CERN firing up. It's firing up on the uh -huh. 8th. All right. And, we'll uh, talk about it then. Peace out, everybody. All right. Peace out.